What's going on, guys? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you another weekly technical talk. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you're new to this video, what I'm doing here is going over the weekly analysis every week before the markets open on the weekend to give you guys an idea of what I'm looking for, what happened in the week before, what my watch list is. I go over all the US dollar crosses as well as each individual currency pairs index. Um, I go over a little bit of gold, a little bit of oil, and the S&P 500, US stock market index. So anybody that's new to these videos, please stay tuned, check out the charts, pure technical analysis. So if you guys want to see what's going on this week ahead, you guys can check it out in this video. I have a little bit of an idea of direction and uh, watch lists all based off trend direction. Um, if you guys have been tuning into these videos before, I really appreciate it. I really want to thank you all for your support and for continuing to watch these videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the charts here now. So if you guys have any comments, recommendations, or anything, please leave them in the bottom of the video. Check out everything else on the page. There's all kinds of other content on here for you guys. Thank you very much. Today is August 11th, 2018. This Saturday, going over the week ahead for next week, August 13th. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the charts. All right, so starting here with the U.S. dollar index, also known as the Dixie, the DXY. As you guys can see on the chart here, we were in this bullish wedge pattern. Last week, we were consolidating underneath this 95.50 resistance. As you guys know, we had a few other benchmark resistance levels here in the past, 94, 95, now moving up to 96, 97, as price is breaking out of this wedge pattern. Um, this is something we've been watching for a while now. This 95 to 95.50 resistance was holding strong, as you guys can see here with these multiple rejections. But this week, we did get a break higher. The dollar did break out and above that resistance, which is a very strong zone. As you can see now, we're hitting right into 96.50, which looking left is going to be a tough area for us to break. So what I'll be looking for for the dollar is any kind of pullbacks. Um, definitely more bullish the dollar than anything now. But looking for the pullbacks to then get in long, trying to catch that better opportunity to buy. Looking for, um, you know, not chasing this strength and trying to catch this uh, momentum, but instead waiting for it to pull back a little bit and then try to catch the next push higher. So the dollar did break out of this wedge pattern. We are looking bullish now moving forward. And um, I do think we might get a little more of a correction before we take off again. But all in all, the dollar is looking much more bullish now than it has in the past few weeks as we were range bound. So it's just the euro. We have a similar um, scenario. We are in this descending triangle uh, in this downtrend, you know, below all the moving averages, 50 below the 200, 20 below the 50. And then we had a little bit of consolidation. The moving averages started to tangle up a little bit here, but we did get a break to the downside this week. As you can see with this very strong gap, this euro uh, index, the euro really fell off pretty hard here. As you can see, we jumped all the way down to almost hitting 109. So similar story here with the dollar. We'll be waiting for this to rally a bit and then try to catch it short once it comes back up to maybe retest 111 or 11050 range in here. But again, the euro has broken out of consolidation too. Euro definitely looks more bearish than anything now. And we'll be looking to sell the euro with any strength or any rallies that we see in it. Yen still um, not really giving us too much direction. We had this lower low set. We were looking for a lower high then another lower low. We didn't quite come down off that lower high very strong. We've now trickled back up to this lower high, which is on this strong 86.50 resistance. As you can see, I've circled here right in this resistance level. We had this doji candle with an upper wick rejection off the 50 SMA. So we are seeing some rejection off this zone. You know, it is a strong level. If I throw a Fibonacci out here from this last lower low move, you can see we're right on the 618. That's where the strong level is holding. So we got a lot of confluence that this level is strong. We want to look for a break of it or it holding. So we want to see either something like this counter trend line breaking and showing that this resistance holding, or if it breaks above this 50 SMA and above this resistance, that'll tell us that this, this level is not holding any longer and it's potentially a trend reversal and we could be looking for longs now in the end. But as of right now, we are still respecting structure. We are still in this downtrend. 50 SMA is still holding, so we got to give it an opportunity to see what we do here off this level. But we are in a strong zone at the moment. British pound, as you can see, this downtrend has continued. We've been just continuously setting lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. And as you can see this week, we came down to set another lower low. I'll show you on the pound cross pairs in a minute what we're looking for this week but basically we're looking for a correction to the mean we're looking for prices to recover a little bit 
looking for this this um, you know downfall to get a little bit of a rally give us a little bit of strength so we can get some better selling opportunities and then if price comes back up to around this 126 125 50 level in here we'll look for opportunities for this lower high to be set and reversing to then push down to the next lower low so the yen I mean the pound has been getting crushed and we do want to ride that momentum however we want to wait for a little bit of better prices a little bit of a recovery a little bit of a mean reversion correction to then short it and continue that downtrend Canadian dollar uh, another one that's kind of just been, um, you know, a little bit range bound and indecisive. So we had the break of this strong support, thought we would have come up to retest it and then sold off, but it's been just slowly trickling higher. We are in a rising wedge pattern. So when we're in a downtrend and we have a rising wedge, that's a trend continuation pattern, right? That's a bearish pattern. So we do have this bottom trend line and this top trend line. We are waiting for this bottom trend line to break to see if we can, um, try to catch this next leg lower so this 75 makes strong support it's also right on this trend line so this could be a good area for us to watch for the break and then try to ride this cad down lower swiss franc another one that's that's uh you know been a mixed basket as you guys can see this uh pattern i was calling out last week is potentially forming we got this inverted head and shoulders pattern here which you could say is forming this right shoulder is rounding out a little bit here. So we would have a neckline, let's say in this area. So um, really I've, I've drawn these arrows here so you can see that this price is a, uh, it could really go either way at this moment. We are still in a downtrend, even though we've been chopping around down here, price is overall still moving top right to bottom, top left to bottom right. Um, we are looking for a break of this support down here. It's tough because the, the support is a pretty big range. We've got like a little over 93 up to 94. So this whole area in here is support really. So we, we need to see a strong break below that or this upper counter trend line, this 50 SMA still held here. Um, we look for that breaking to get a bullish move, but we're just in a basing pattern in consolidation. You can see we've had really tight range candles in here and not much movement in price. So we want to try to catch this strong break when it happens. We just got to be watching for which way it goes. Aussie continues the downtrend. As you can see, we were, we're in this bear flag pattern. And this week on Friday, we did break and close below all the way down to this 73 support level down here. So this downtrend does look like it is continuing. We've been respecting this trend line, respecting this bear, bear flag consolidation pattern that it did break out of. And uh, another pair here where we're going to be looking for shorting opportunities for sure. We just want to make sure that we look for them at the right moment. We want to look for them on a little bit of a rally, maybe retesting back up to the support. This uh, maybe this flag pattern gets retested, but all in all, we will be looking for more short out of the Aussie moving forward. New Zealand dollar had a very strong bearish week, as you guys can see with this very strong red candle here. We had this bear break below the support, then we based out here, and then we broke lower again. Taking it to daily, you can see a little better what I'm talking about. These strong bearish candles lower. So we were in this uh, bear flag pattern, as I told you guys. We we're basing underneath this 68 level above the 67, waiting for that break of support. And we did get that break this week, Thursday, Friday, back to back, strong bearish legs. So the downtrend continues with New Zealand after the New Zealand Bank's central uh, bank rate statement last week. There was some very bearishness taken out of it. The markets reacted very bearish to the news. And the, the New Zealand dollar just sold off pretty strong. Alrighty, so the S&P 500 real quick. This is the U.S. stock market index, top 500 companies. As you can see, we are still moving higher. We did set highs here. We are testing all-time highs, but we weren't able to break them. This is going to be really a major level, a major benchmark we want to watch. If price does happen to break above that, we could get a strong push. But as you can see, we are still moving higher. So we are still in this bullish trend. We are still in this risk on per se market, even though Thursday, Friday, we did have a sell off. We were in more risk off moves. We are all in all in an uptrend. So buys are what we will be looking for. Gold continues to get crushed. As you can see, it's just, oh, and I was showing you guys when it break, when it broke below the support and was in this basing pattern, watch the break of this trend line and just, you know, sell into any rallies. That's what it's been doing. It's selling off. If you sold into this rally, it's sold off. If you sold into this rally, it's sold off. Kind of just you know, basing down here on a strong level. Looking left, you can see both of these zones have re rejected this before. So it is certainly on a strong level, but, um, you know, it is still bearish. We are still 
moving higher with the stock markets, which is uh, inversely related to this. So I am still looking short with gold. We'll just have to wait and play it out and see if we can get, you know, a little bit of a rally maybe off this zone and then try shorten around 116, 116.50 to then try going lower. Oil uh, broke below a strong support this week on Wednesday. This 68 now is the resistance. It broke structure. You know, we set this higher high, pulled back for this higher low. We're thinking we could go back up to retest the high, but it did in fact break below that. We are testing this lower trend line. That's a strong indicator that I'm watching for price to break. But this 68 is now acting as resistance. So um, this is a decent shorting opportunity. Maybe you could put a stop up here at a 68.50, 68.60 or so and try shorting to get that next leg lower. Maybe you can target this 200 SMA mixed with this support as your target. But um, do look like this oil is flipping around and might be reversing that uptrend and starting to sell off. All right, taking us over to the U.S. dollar crosses. As you can see with the euro dollar, we were in this bearish wedge pattern, this bearish pennant, and we did break out of it last week broke out this week we pulled back a little bit and then continued the breakout very strong on Friday and Thursday so as you can see this prediction was right we were calling for a break to the downside after we broke this pattern that's exactly what we got so this had some very strong moves again another one where we're gonna be looking now for a rally we're gonna be looking for a little bit of a pullback maybe price will bounce off this 114 pull back up here to 115 116 level and then try to catch it short we don't want to chase this falling price we don't want to try to um, catch a falling knife, so to say, and try to jump into this trade while it's falling and that's it's already fallen 100 pips. Uh, we want to try to get into it once it recovers a little bit, once we get to that better price point and then catch the beginning of the moves like this instead of trying to catch the end. Pound dollar continues to fall. Um, we were coming up to this support last week and I thought we might have been able to bounce, look for a better sh shorting opportunity, then continue, but it's just fallen and fallen and fallen. We have reached this weekly support level now, looking left. You can see there's a lot of reaction to it. Um, another pair that I'm just waiting for a recovery. As I was telling you with the pound crosses, they've just been falling and falling and falling. We do need a bit of a recovery. We do need a bit of a bounce before we can look to short them as we're not chasing. So um, pound, uh, I'm not looking to trade the beginning of this week, maybe the second half of the week, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday trades. Uh, if we get a few day rally at the beginning of this week, but right now it's just continuing to sell off. We are definitely bearish this pair, but... We don't want to chase, so we're waiting for the right opportunity. Dollar CAD uh, got a little bit of a trend reversal here, so we did respect this daily trend line pretty nicely, as you can see with this round bottom bounce off of here. Strong bullish momentum, um, but however, we did set a lower low. This could be a lower high being set, and then we could bounce off of this lower high, come and break this trend line. A little bit of a mixed bag here because we can't really tell, because if you look at it from this point of view, you can see we are in a little bit of a falling wedge in a bull market, which is a bullish continuation pattern. I'm just going off purely structure, moving averages, my trend analysis to show you that we have broken the structure, we've broken the trend, we've broken this intermediate trend line, we've set a new lower low, we've broken the 50 SMA, the 20s cross below it. So even though we've broken back up above it now with this bullish bounce, we are reversing this trend. But again, we're getting mixed signals. So really, we just need to wait for confirmation like everything else in trading and wait for this to show us um, whether it's going to continue higher or reverse lower. More confirmation of that. Dollar yen, again, we're still sitting on this, you know, 111 support area. It does look like it's starting to break. This 50 SMA is starting to break, starting to roll over. This is where the trend would reverse here as well, as you guys can see. This was the higher low that we set after price set this higher high, right? So we're in this uptrend. We're basing underneath here. We had this ascending triangle pattern. We broke higher, set a higher high, pulled back to retest structure, set this higher low, had a temporary bounce, but then pulled right back immediately. And now you can see this higher low is now being retested again here. Hasn't broken and closed below the low of this, so it's still holding. 50 SMA is still holding as well. Got a little bit of a counter trend line here. Take it down on a lower time frame, it'll probably look a little cleaner. As you can see with this counter trend line here, could be using that if you're looking for longs to try to catch that trend continuing. But the trend is on, the, you know, right on the brink of reversing. So this is another one that we want to be watching for um, to see if we're able to push higher here or if it's able to reverse lower there. Dollar Swiss, not much going on. Another one that's 
indecisive. As you saw from the Swiss francs chart, this looks very similar, right? We're in this high basing pattern and price is just chopping around. A little bit of a regular right up head and shoulders forming here. If you look here, we've got a left shoulder, neck, right head, head, neck, right shoulder, right? So that could be a reversal pattern. We could be seeing this roll over. We've got this trend line here holding. We've got the moving averages just crisscrossing, which you know isn't a good sign of strong trend. We've got small pattern candles in here, so not much big momentum candles like we saw here or like we've seen with all these multiples here in this trend. We've got you know a bullish, a bearish, a bullish, a bearish, a bullish, a bearish. There's a lot of mix max, mix match, um, not too much strong direction either way. So this is a pair that we're going to just be watching for confirmation. We're going to be watching for a break of the trend line, maybe trend reverses, we catch a pullback to short it, or breaks above this resistance and then we try to catch it long off of that. But um, not the greatest pair, not the most going on. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on it to see what happens. Aussie dollar, on the other hand, a nice strong trend continuation move here Thursday, Friday. Broke out of this bearish rectangle pattern. As you guys can see here, we've been in this basing pattern since uh, really the middle of June. So um, this is a strong breakout that we're getting here. And it did break and close below the support. So I do think we can expect continuation to the downside. This is a strong weekly level. This blue support that was just broken at 73.50 ish. Um, so if price does rally back up to it and retest it, that would be a great opportunity to try to short this to the downside and try to catch the next move lower. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, very similar pattern. Um, as you guys can see, we were in this basing pattern. We did break out, broke lower, very strong break lower. So this is one where we're certainly only looking to short it once we get a pullback. As you can see, the moving averages are all the way up here. Price is trading all the way down here. That is where we have that statistical moving average mean correction, right? Where we have the price is going to revert to the mean, whether they base like this and the moving averages catch up, or if they actually catch correct and revert directly back to the moving averages. Either way, this is chasing, right? Trying to sell into this is chasing. If you're a counter trend trader and you look for strong supports and stuff to trade, this could be a good opportunity for you to, to go long on this pair, right? We're hitting strong zones down here. We're very overextended from the moving averages. We've had long correction. We've had long, strong moves. Maybe you can try getting a bounce and try buying this. But as far as trend continuation, selling this pair, trading the way we do here at CoreFX, this is going to need to bounce before we do anything. This is going to need to correct. Might not correct all the way back up to the 67 support here might correct up to 66.50 or so in here, but either way, we do need some sort of a correction before this can be on our watch list. All right, guys, that does it with the US dollar crosses. I'm gonna hop into my personal watch list for the week now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here with New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, a little bit of a second half of the week trade here as we do need a correction on this pair as well. If we throw Fibonacci here from this last strong push to the downside, you can see that we could be looking around this 74 to 74.50 red box I have here. That would be right on the 382 to 50% bid level. That's a very strong continuation move. That's a zone that I love to trade. So that's where we'll be looking for this pair to bounce up to this week. Maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we get a rally, and then Thursday, Friday, we sell off again. <clears throat> but that's what I'll be looking for to begin this week out of that pair. Then we got Pound Aussie. Um, another one where, you know, we saw this very strong sell off. We've gotten back to back bullish bounces. I am looking now to short this pair. Maybe we come up a little bit higher, we test 176 level, but we are in a nice strong downtrend. We have the 50 just crossed the 200 SMA, 20 crossed the 50 and the 200 SMA. Price is setting lower lows and lower highs. We set a lower low, have bounced off it now, we could be setting a lower high. So this is where we'll be watching to sell off this pair and try to get a short trade on this as we um, you know, look for price to correct, give us some kind of sign of rejecting resistance and then roll over. Pound Swiss franc, another one where the pound's just been getting crushed. So we're really just waiting for a pullback on this pair as well, looking for the zone 28.50 to 29. That's what we'll be looking for price to pull back to, so that's what we'll be watching for on this pair, nothing special. Pound CAD, another one. You can see we had this hammer candle showing rejection of support here on Friday, so this is a good um, indicator that we could get a correction here. This would be a deep correction if it rallied all the way up to 171, but anywhere in this whole zone here, we can look for a correction. I'd like it to be on a level. So if you look left, we get another level right in here around the uh, 169, 90 to 170 level. Adjust that to the 170 psychological level here. So that's another level we could be looking for price to rally up to and short it. But all in all, we're looking for a rally in this pair to then short it lower. 
Euro pound, strong higher high, higher low, very strong break higher high, but then we had an immediate bearish sell-off, right? We have these two back-to-back -back strong bearish candles selling off of that high there. So we will be looking to long this. We will be looking for this. You know, this is that pullback we're looking for in these strong trends. We will be looking to go long on this, but not just buying into a bearish momentum candle like that. I'd like to see some kind of rejection of the support in here. Maybe we get like, you know, a little bit of a hammer candle or so right on this level, showing a rejection of support, showing that wick to the downside, failing to move lower. And then maybe we look for a long opportunity off a counter trend line break or something like that. But <clears throat> this is a nice pair. We reverse trend pretty nicely and set a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low in a nice uptrend. So we're looking for longs on this pair just entering the right time. Euro New Zealand, nice trade we had this week. Broke out of this uh, wedge pattern. Had this nice, strong, bullish breakout here. Caught this trade in the group. Um, another one where, you know, we set a higher high here. So looking for a little bit of a pullback to then try to catch this next push to the upside. A lot of pullbacks we're looking for this week, guys. So um, really not going to be too exciting at the start of the week. But there could be some good opportunities forming later on. Another one here on strong support in a downtrend. This was a nice trade call last week as well. Looking here, this um, you know price rallied up here, and this was a good opportunity to short to tr catch that trend continuation to the downside, and that's exactly what happened there. So price did move lower as well off this pair, moving down to support here. We did um, reject here on Friday. You can see this rejection, so maybe we look for a rally up to 150, 150-ish to try catching this downward. Euro Swiss. Another one in the same position. We're making these strong moves to the downside. So what we're looking for is a rally back up to around 114.50. Try to catch this pair bouncing off of resistance that was support, and then try shorting that to the next move lower. Aussie New Zealand, another one. Very strong bearish bullish moves. We've got higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher high. Now we're looking for a pullback. Whether it's going to be a shallow pullback or a deep pullback, that's what we'll be looking for here. That's one tool we can use Fibonacci for. You know, we can drag it and drop it from this last move higher. And you can see we got more shallow of a move to the 382 and then a more deep of a move down to 618. Um, that's what we're looking for for these trend continuations. We can use candlestick patterns on the daily chart to confirm that this pullback is coming to an end. Uh, we can use counter trend line breaks, a number of different things, but we need confirmation that these pullbacks aren't reversals, that they are pullbacks and they are gonna be continuing. So that's what we're looking at in all these Aussie New Zealand. And then we got New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar as the final pair on my watch list. Similar setup. We're in a downtrend, strong bearish move, looking for a rally back up to some sort of a level and then trying to short that to continue the downtrend. So a lot of pullbacks going on this week. A lot of corrections needed. We had a strong moves. We had a lot of strong moves last week out of the dollar, out of New Zealand, out of the pound. Um, so really this week, we're just looking for some of those corrections, some of those pullbacks, some of those recoveries, corrections reverting to the mean. And then we want to try to hop on those next moves to the downside or upside, depending on the pair you're trading. All right. So that covers the pairs I'm watching for this week, guys. That covers all the uh, watch list of mine, all the U.S. dollar major crosses, as well as the major indexes for each individual pair. Also touched on gold, the S&P 500 and oil. Thank you guys very much for tuning into these videos. I really hope you guys are getting something out of them. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or any comments in general, recommendations, anything like that. Uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these. Check out the new site at corefxtrading.com. Also core.fx on Instagram. Check out any other videos I have on my page if you're looking to learn some free content. But again, guys, I appreciate you tuning into these videos. Any new, new followers, new watchers, thank you very much for giving me the time and giving me the chance. Any of my returning guys, I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. I'll continue to bring out some content for you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.